This video will cover difficult questions regarding the topic of piecewise function, limits, and graphing. This is the first question. The first graph is y equals minus 1 over x. So the graph passes through 1, comma minus 1. And then make the curve. And then minus 1, comma 1. Another curve is here, like this. The interval is x is less than 0. So only quadrant to two part. And the second graph is a semicircle with the radius of 1. And the center is at the origin. So the graph is like this. The interval is x is greater than or equal to 0. And the less than or equal to 1. So it is here. The last one is y equals x minus 1 squared plus 1. Oh, I forgot this one. Then it's a quadratic function with the vertex at 1, 1 here, and 1 to the right, 1 up, and 1 to the right, 3 up, like this. And it's the same with the left hand side. So the curve is like this. The interval is x is greater than 1. So 1 here make the hole and goes up. And then combine all three graphs together make the piecewise function. So first one, the graph passes through minus 1, 1. And goes up like this. And the graph is approaching but never touching. And then second graph is start with 0, 1. And then make the quarter circle. And then last one. The 1, 1 with the hole. And passes through this point and make the curve. So this is y equals f of x graph. Number a, limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the left side. The y value is approaching infinity. And number b, limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the right side. The y value is approaching 1. And number c, the left hand limit and the right hand limit are not equal, so it does not exist. And number d, when x equals exactly 0, the y value equals 1. And number e, limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left side, the y value is approaching 0. And number f, the limit of f of x, x approaches 1 from the right side, the y value is approaching 1. And number g, number e, and number f are not equal, so it does not exist. Number h, f of 1 equals 0. Here, since the point 1, 0 is on the graph of f, This is the next question. We can start with y equals tangent pi x over 4 if absolute value of x is less than 1, which is the x is between minus 1 and 1. So the first one equal tangent pi over 4 x. The period of this one is pi over absolute value of b, which is phi over 4. So the answer is 4. So the vertical asymptote is x equal to and 
x equals minus 2 here. So when x equals 1, pendant pi over 4 is 1. So the graph is like this. And then another one here. Like this. The interval is x is between minus 1 and 1. So make two holes x equals minus 1 and 1 and became the curve. The second graph is y equals 1 over x. So x axis and y axis are both asymptotes. And then the graph passes through 1, 1. And then minus 1, comma, minus 1 is the same thing. Cross, 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 but never touching. The interval is x is less than or equal to minus 1. So start with x equals minus 1. And to the left goes up like this. And the last one is y equals x minus 3 squared. So vertex is 3, 0. And 1 by 1, 1 by 3, like this, make the curve. The interval is x is greater than or equal to 0. So start with 1, 4. And goes down and up this much. Then combine three graphs together. So the first one, the tangent graph, two hole is here. Make the curve and another one like this. And then second graph, start with minus 1, 1. The point is minus 1, 1 is here and goes up then the last one the point is 1 comma 4 here and vertex is a 3 comma 0 so make the curve is quadratic function this is y equals f of x the piecewise function then number A, limit of f of x as x approaches minus 1 from the left side, the y value is approaching minus 1. Number B, limit of f of x as x approaches minus 1 from the right, the y value is approaching minus 1. And the left hand limit and the right hand limit are the same. So number C answer equals minus 1 and number D. The point is minus 1 comma minus 1 here. So number D answer equal minus 1. And number E, limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left side. The y value is approaching 1. Number F, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right side, the y value is approaching 4. And number E answer and number F answer are not equal. So it does not exist. And then number H, there is 1, 4 is on the graph. So the answer equal 4. This is the next question. Number A, the limit of f of x as x approaches 0. So we have to check about the left side limit. So limit as x approaches 0 from the left f of x equals limit as x approaches 0 from the left side sine x over x. But we already know the limit of as x approaches 0 sine x over x equals 1 so left hand limit is 1 
and then linear back of x as x approaches 0 from the right equals the same, the right side, but f of x means square root of x squared plus 1, then put 0 into x, so square root of 0 squared plus 1, which equals square root of 1, the answer is 1, so the left hand limit and the right hand limit is the same. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 equals 1. Then number b, the first limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left side the limit as x approaches 1 from the left this point f of x means square root of x squared plus 1 then put 1 into x so square root of 1 squared plus 1 equals square root of 1 plus 1 which is square root of 2 And then limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right side equals limit as x approaches 1 from the right. So x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x. Then put 1 into x. So 1 plus 2 over 1 squared plus 2 times 1 equals 3 over 1 square is 1 and 2 times 1 equal 2 so 1 plus 2 means 3 so final answer is 1 so by these two the left hand limit is not the same as right hand limit Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 does not exist. This is the last question. Limit of f of x as x approaches 0 exists when the left and the right limits are the same. So, limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the left equals limit as x approaches 0 from the left ax over sin x we can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0 from the left x over sin x times a then we can split like this and as you know limit as x approaches 0 x over sine x equals 1 so this one is 1 times a equals a And the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side, f of x, equal limit as x approaches 0 from the right side, x squared plus 3 equals put 0 into x, 0 squared plus 3. This is a 3. And by these two, a must be 3. Limit of f of x as x approaches 1 exists when the left and the right limits are the same. So, limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left side 
equals limit as x approaches 1 from the left side x squared plus 3 then put 0 into x 1 squared plus 3 which is 4 and then limit as x approaches 1 from the right side equals limit as x approaches 1 from the right 2 to the power of bx and then put 1 into x 2 to the power of b times 1 so 2 to the power of b and the left limit must be same as right limit so 4 equals 2 to the power of b so 4 means 2 squared equals 2 to the power of b so b equals 2 that is the answer i hope this video has been helpful this is the last of three videos covering piecewise function limits and graphing look at the calculus playlist for previous videos thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more